All right, so I'm going to show you Super Paper Mario. Um, we've waited a while for this to get a European release date. Now it's got one. It's coming out in September. Um, so we'll give it a proper review. Um, next issue, we actually reviewed the US version um, a couple of uh, months back, if you want to have a look at it. Um, we've got a copy here, so I thought it would be good to just uh, show you some of how it works um, to prepare you for the arrival of the big game in September. Um, obviously, I'm going to show you some things from later in the game, so if you don't want it spoiled, um, look away now. Switch to another track, turn the TV off, whatever. Um, now, the thing about Super Paper Mario that's that's brilliant, really, is that you can you can flip the view. Um, so you're sort of wandering around in 2D, it's very kind of traditional, and then you can press A and look at everything in 3D. Um, and I'll show you some of that as we go. Um, it's a really good platformer. It's kind of a platformer and an RPG, a bit like the old sort of uh, the previous Paper Mario games. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's just take a look. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, chapter 3 1 now. There's um, eight chapters in all, uh, usually divided into um, four kind of sub chapters. Um, this one uh, is a very cool bit coming up. See so if you recognize some of this level. Um, 
won't spoil the surprise for you. Um, and yeah, more 2D, 3D flipping action. Um, here's where you're going to uh, stumble on one of the new characters as well. Not, not new, other, but one of the other characters you control. Um, so I should be able to show you that. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, next up is uh, chapter four one. This is one of the space levels. The space levels are not really the, the best bit of Super Paper Mario. They're pretty dull looking. Um, they are just a bit bland, but you do get to shoot at aliens in space, which is, I guess, all right. Um, so yeah, let's give this one a go.
All right, I'll take you a bit further on now. This is chapter 4 4, which is still sort of in space. Uh, this level's called the Woe Zone, um, amusingly. Um, this is where um, you are able to walk on walls and flip up and down and stuff. It's a pretty cool level. Um, I'm also going to show you one of the other pixels, the pixels of the little uh, characters here um, who follow you around. Um, you've got several, you pick them up as you go along the adventure. Uh, this guy here is called um, Carry, um, and it's able to just carry you along at speed, basically, on, on a little platform, which is quite handy. lets you get over spikes and things like that. So um, you'll, you'll see Carry in action as well. Um, so yeah, let's go. Okay, chapter 5-3 now. Um, this is set in a world, all the chapter 5 levels are set in a world where these kind of plant men are almost sort of at war with these kind of like cavemen type uh, people. It's really weird scenario for a Mario game, but um, you end up uh, going into these caves and there's like a, t a film crew down there, it's all very odd. Um, and uh, yeah, let's show you a bit.
Okay, we'll stop showing you the sort of normal levels for now, and I'll take you for a look around Flipside, which is the kind of hub, which is the town, and it shows you a bit more of the kind of RPG nature of Super Paper Mario. This is where you come between levels, basically. Have a little chat to people, solve a few puzzles, um, find the sort of entrances to each level. So uh, let's have a look around.
So, look away now, stop the DVD, turn off the TV if you don't want to see one of the final levels of um, Super Paper Mario. Um, it will, you know, it's, well, I won't say anything, but if you haven't played it um, and you don't want to see it, um, if you're planning to pick it up and you don't want the uh, last few levels spoiled, um, don't look now. Um, for the rest of you, you still here? You still here? Yeah, okay. Um, it's a great looking level. Um, you're in the castle of Count Black, which is one of the main uh, baddies from the game. Um, all the levels look like this um, in the final few stages. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. <laughs> 